Okay, so we discuss the practical research too. So we have now in the quarter one, unit one, nature of inquiry and research. Okay, so what this unit all about? Human is bounded with problems. Problems were observed along with political, social, environmental, and many aspects of life. In that, mankind wants solution to those problems. Solutions must be based in knowledge, not on mere beliefs, guesses, or theories. To acquire this knowledge, research, has been devised to meet this need. Okay, what do you expect uh, to learn? Okay, after studying this study, uh, after studying this unit, you are expected to describe the characteristics, strengths, weaknesses, and kinds of quantitative research. Explain the kinds of quantitative research design. Illustrate the importance of quantitative research across fields and differentiate kinds of variables under uses. Okay, so what is quantitative research? Okay. Well, Quantitative research is an objective, systematic, empirical investigation of observ observable phenomena through the use of comp computational techniques. Simply, quantitative research is concerned with numbers and its, and its relationship with events. So, meaning, in quantitative research, we can uh, attain to our objectives through the analysis using numbers okay so i have uh, we have a comparison of the research title comparison between the qualitative research and the quantitative research okay in the qualitative in the qualitative research number one experiencing of reaction and coping of Filipino fathers and mothers during and after natural disaster. Okay, if we analyze and interpret the title, this title, we expect that the responses of our respondents is or in true uh, description, meaning yung mga sagot nila, i-describe nila yung kanilang mga exper experiences during and after natural disaster so no numbers involved okay number two employee com commitment to environmental stewardship as a component of corporate social responsibility so again if we analyze and interpret this title so we expect that the responses of our respondents is a description or uh, a essay or a discussion about their commitment to the to the environmental stewardship the component of the social responsibility okay so let us go to the quantitative research okay, number one establishing hydroponics farming in Pasi. So through its title, so we conclude now we now we cannot uh, attain or gather data using the uh, 
description using the discussion of the respondents. So meaning, uh, it involves numbers. So that is why uh, this is quantitative precepts. In number two, economic benefits of cityhood. So again, if we analyze this uh, title, so it in this title it involves numbers. We we can uh, avail or we can achieve uh, or we can um, or makakuha tayo ng result through the use of numbers. Okay, we have the characteristics of quantitative uh, research. Number one, quantitative research is objective. Why objective? It is objective because it seeks accurate measurements and analysis of the target data. So meaning, the quantitative research, it is not based on the mere intuition or guesses. Gather first the data or data are gathered before proposing a conclusion or a solution of the problem or the study. Okay, number two, characteristic of quantitative research is clearly defined research questions. Okay, because the researchers know in advance what they are looking for, but the problem is we have to acquire first the evidence. Then our evidence is through numbers, through the result of the study. So the, the research question are well defined for which objectives answers the so. Okay, so um, next. Number three is a structured research instrument. In the in the in the quantitative research, the the instrument should be uh, validated or standardized. Standardized instruments guide data collection, reliability and validity of data. Reliability, uh, we discuss that reliability. How to test the reliability of our instrument? and the, how to test the validity of our instrument we discuss that uh, after this uh, or the, the preceding topics in number four the quantitative uh, research is uh, numerical having a numerical data figures tables or graphs showcase summarize data collection in order to show trends, relationship, or differences among variables to um, to compute or to determine the relationship or differences among the variables we use uh, numerical data in quantitative research. Number five, quantitative research has a large sample sizes. So, to arrive at a more reliable data analysis, a normal population distribution curve is preferred. So that is the normal population curve that is, uh, uh, if you remember in your statistics subject, and this requires a large sample size. But that is why random sampling is recommended in determining a sample size. Okay, so sampling some uh, random sampling or you have to compute a uh, random uh, sample instead of the sample instead of using the 1000 respondents to to shorten that um, 1000 respondents or to make that in 300 200 uh, we have uh, we use the uh, formula to compute a sample size of the given population. So we discussed that further. We discussed that uh, in our preceding or the next topic. Okay, number six is the quantitative research is replication or replicated. 
methods can be repeated to verify findings not receiving so we can use this uh, research uh, in the other place in other sitting okay number seven the future outcomes the future outcomes by using complex mathematical calculation mathematical calculation is uh, another term is the statistical tools and with the aid of computers if then scenario may be formulated thus predicting future results in strengths of quantitative research number one quantitative research it is objective the most reliable and valid way of conducting result since it provides numerical data it cannot be easily misinterpreted so meaning in quantitative research because there is uh, a result numerical result so uh, most of our decision or our interpretation is uh, is correct no? so most of our is correct because of this base of the computation data using the statistical tools in number two the use of statistical techniques facilitates sophisticated analysis and allows you to comprehend a huge amount of vital characteristic of data okay so the competition using statistical treatment statistical tools Number three, it is real and unbiased. So meaning, tinood, totoo, then hindi bias. Hindi bias because the, the result figure is your basis to interpret the result. Okay, so that is why the quantitative is unbiased and it is real. Number four, quantitative studies are applicable or pretty really repeat and number five the numerical data can analyze in a quick and easy way with the use of that uh, numerical result the result of statistical uh, competition then your then our interpretation is based of that numerical data so that is easy to to interpret another result Number six, quantitative experiments are useful for testing the results gained by a series of qualitative experiments. Okay, um, because of because the with qualitative experiment is a uh, narration, is a uh, discussion, or uh, the data of qualitative uh, experiment is uh, a narrate of the respondents or a description of the respondents so to to test that result base uh, to test that result using the quantitative experiment the quantitative experiment is useful to test that result of qualitative experiments because quantitative, quantitative experiment is real and unbiased Okay, the weaknesses of quantitative research number one it does not consider the distinct capacity of respondents to share and elaborate further information okay so the the quantitative research the respor uh, the respondents cannot express their answer they cannot um this analysis uh, because because the the instrument used in the, in the, in the quantitative in the quantitative research is a multiple choice questionnaire meaning the the respondents will answer one uh, choice one choice out of that five choices okay so number two much information are difficult to gather using structured research instrument spe spe specifically 
in sensitive issues like premarital sex, domestic violence, and among others. And number three, quantitative research requires a large number of respondents. So that is why uh, it is recommended that you use a sample size. And as I said, to compute the sample size, we have a formula. We discuss that la uh, later on. Okay, number four, it is costly. It is costly because uh, in, quantitative, in, in quantitative research, you use uh, large or uh, large respondents. Okay, number five, it not done seriously and correctly. Data from questionnaire may be incomplete and inaccurate. Okay. So, okay, after that, I will, uh, uh, you answer this question, answer the following questions, write your concise learning about the following, then write your answer in your journal notebook.